uh, I says generally, um, depending on from where you actually start viewing it, people say is misinterpreting, abusing, or furthering interpretation of the religion. As a person, could you just tell exactly where this stands? Well, I would say that whether or not the interpretation that IS uses of Islam is correct or not is not up to me to decide as an academic and also as a non-Muslim, uh, but it's up to Muslims. And if you look at what Muslims say about ISIS and to ISIS, it's very clear that they reject the interpretation that IS gives to uh, Islamic scripture. So you can say that uh, IS is clearly using Islamic tradition, Islamic texts, Islamic concepts, Islamic scholars, and it does so abundantly and very clearly and very explicitly. So it would be very hard to deny the link between Islam on the one hand and the Islamic State on the other, but to say that it is Islamic or not is really not a decision for me to make. When we look at it from India's point of view, how much should India be concerned about this extreme interpretation which really does not have a popular base. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think India should be very concerned about this. There is always the danger, of course, that that happens, so I, I'm not excluding that. But given the enormous diversity of Islam in general, and also in, in a country such as India, um, if you look at the versions of Islam practiced in India, even with the Deobandi uh, type of Islam practiced in India, that has links, for example, with the Taliban in Afghanistan, but it is still quite different, even though on a superficial level it looks the same, but it's still quite different from Salafism. And then, of course, Salafism itself is quite a diverse movement, which does not necessarily, and in most cases, in fact, doesn't translate into violence or terrorism. So I think that if you take all of that information together, the chances of there being a broad base for support for the Islamic State among Indian Muslims is actually rather small.